Yo what is up guys it's me Blast and today I am here with a different kind of video. Today I will show you guys how to get higher FPS in Battlefield 4 even on the most low end PCs. My PC is pretty basic I have got an AMD FX6300 and a Sapphire HD777 graphics card. So I don't consider it to be I mean like it's really not a really high end kind of a PC but it's pretty basic. So it's worked for me and I hope it works for you guys too. Now I can't guarantee you guys how much FPS you will get but I can guarantee you that you are sure to have a FPS increase in your gameplay. Why I can't guarantee your FPS? It's because each PC is different. That's why. Okay, so moving on. The first step is to download the user.cfg file given in the description. After you download it, copy it. I have it on my desktop right now. You need to control C, copy it. Go to start, computers, local disk C, program files 86, original games, where is it, where is it, original games, battlefield 4 and paste it right here. Uh, you might already have one, another one of your user.cfg files and I would like you guys to create a backup for it. Right now I'll just copy and replace it because the same one. Now the second step is to download the prof save underscore profile file given in the description. After you download it, copy it and go to my, uh, my documents that is the documents folder. Click on battlefield 4 settings and paste it right here. I'd recommend you to create a backup for your prof save underscore profile so that it might come in handy in future. Also remember your mouse sensitivity because this might change it. I play on a different sensitivity. Uh, actually I play on the basic like the default sensitivity. Anyways I'll copy and replace it. Now that this is done you need to go to your battlefield 4 directory that is local disk C, program files 86, uh, origin games battlefield 4 now it might be different for you guys as to where you might have installed it so you go to that click on the underscore installer directx redist and uh, click on the dx setup you need to install this i accept next as i already have it installed i will not install it but you guys need to i don't know why but uh, dice didn't like this some kind of a problem with the game dice actually didn't install this driver I don't know what happened but yeah, we need to install the DX setup. Now the next step is exclusively for AMD users. I will have a NVIDIA user step after this one but first for AMD users. Uh, go to AMD, just type AMD, the link will be in the description. Now uh, this is the link. Now just hover your mouse over with drivers plus support. You will see a lot of options. I would like to go for the GPU drivers. Uh, I have a Windows 7 64 bit, so I'll click on that one. You need to choose your own drivers, that is for Windows 8 or whatever you use, and click on download. Now, actually, I will not download it because I already have it downloaded. Uh, downloads, I'll just show you guys what to do next. Uh, click on the AMD Catalyst 15.7.1. That's right now, but in future, it might get upgraded or something. Now click on yes, you need to install this one and just click on install. I will not install it again because I have it already. So just close it. Now for NVIDIA users, you guys just need to go to the link in the description and give your model numbers and stuff and then search and then download the file and install it. As I don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, I will not use it. Now let's go inside the game. So we are back in the game. So as you guys can see right here, I am touching around 90 to 80 FPS. While I am not recording, I touch around 100 to 120 FPS. But uh, my recording software is taking a bit of a load right now. See, we are getting 100 FPS. So uh, also another step is that I would like you guys to have the same video settings as me. So uh, just pause the video right here and uh, keep the video settings as mine. Okay my resolution is 1600 by 900 which is my native resolution. I play on full screen mode. The brightness is 55%. Vertical sync is off. Field of view is 55%. Horizontal plus 70. Field of view scaling in 
uh, ADSing that is uh, aiming down sights is on, field of view is 72, motion blur is 0, that's the most important thing, motion blur isn't that important. Weapon DOF off, colorblind off, resolution scale 100%. Uh, you, if you are having some lag, uh, you can reduce the resolution scale to like around 90 or 85 or something. Now, graphics quality, now you guys can uh, set these to custom and do this. So, texture quality high, texture filtering ultra, light, lighting quality high, effects quality high, pros, po post process quality low, mesh quality ultra, terrain quality ultra, terrain decoration ultra, anti aliasing deferred off, anti aliasing post high, ambient occlusion off. So, uh, keep the settings, keep the same settings as mine, and you guys see, like now you can see I'm touching over a hundred, like around a hundred FPS. I mean, I don't know what happened before I, before, but see. So I hope this video was helpful, if it was please be sure to leave a like, do comment and do subscribe and I shall see you guys next time.